we appreciate the meeting. Uh, I think my goal is to see at the very least uh, that we do have a hearing uh, in the Senate on an issue which is being supported by 15,000 physicians, by millions of people all over the country, and which in my view is the only rational solution uh, to providing comprehensive universal cost effective health care to the American people. And the idea that this has not been on the table, and I think Senator Bork has indicated that he thought that that was a mistake, uh, not allowing that hearing, not allowing that discussion. Uh, but we hope to bring forward that discussion, uh, and I'm going to do everything in my power to, to see that we can do that. I had a meeting in, in, in Vermont the other day. A doctor describes writing out prescriptions for patients. One third of her patients can't fill the prescriptions. Now, how do they, these guys do their jobs? So they want to practice medicine and not be bureaucrats filling out forms. Nurses feel the same way. You got millions of people all over this country in 50 states who are standing up demanding fundamental changes in our health care system. Uh, we understand also uh, that to do what we have to do, we have to take on, and again, we don't talk about this. In my view, this is not a health care issue. This is a political and economic issue. You have the pharmaceutical industry and the insurance company making billions and billions of dollars every single year off of people's illness. I think that that is immoral, and I think it creates a system which is dysfunctional. And furthermore, these very same institutions, the drug companies, the insurance companies, the medical equipment suppliers, what do they do? They use some of their profits, they pump it back into lobbying campaign contributions, hundreds of millions of dollars over a period of years. That's what we're up against. That's what we're up against. And ultimately, in my view, this is going to be solved in the same exact way. I forgot who said it. It is, it is like the women's struggle. It is like the civil rights struggle. And it's going to be a grassroots effort. And at the end of the day, when millions and millions of people say every American is entitled to health care as a right, and it must be comprehensive, and it must be cost effective, when that day comes, you're going to have a single payer system. I think the message is, is the single payer movement is gaining uh, significant momentum. Now, for all of my friends here who live within the Beltway, I know you don't know that. But when you go out in the real world, and you go out, uh, and, and obviously not on my own state, I travel all over the country, all kinds of people. And don't think they're just radicals or left-wingers. They are not. I mean, when you're talking about 15,000 physicians, I suspect many of them are not raving socialists, correct? And when you talk about nurses from all over the country, we talk about ordinary people who understand that the current system is not working. Single payer is gaining momentum. Uh, and, and I think what the reason for that is not only the excellent work done by the folks who are here who have been working on this issue for years, and we had brilliant leadership from the medical and nursing profession, but you're seeing grassroots uh, activists uh, standing up and spreading the word, uh, and I think uh, that message is resonating.